COVID is a disease which mainly affects the lung and determines the immediate survival of the patients. But as the pandemic is continuing and as we learn more about uh, the long-term consequences, we see that uh, there are a variety of uh, neurological deficits uh, which uh, seem to follow uh, COVID infection. The um, assumption we made in the paper you just mentioned uh, was based on previous findings by us and other colleagues, uh, assuming that a strong systemic infection would impact on uh, brain function and cause uh, persisting changes. So there is uh, excellent data published by Theodore Ivashina in a JAMA paper in 2010, indicating that uh, the presence of sepsis, especially severe sepsis, would lead to a subsequent cognitive decline uh, my own group has published a paper in ICU survivors from septic shock showing that these people suffer from persisting EEG changes and hippocampal atrophy um, at the same time from cognitive decline of uh, certain uh, memory uh, domains as well. So uh, we assumed that people who would experience a so-called cytokine storm during COVID-19 may end up with similar changes thereafter. Now we see that even people who had mild uh, COVID-19 symptoms develop uh, severe uh, memory deficits thereafter. And uh, we and other colleagues are studying these in prospective clinical trials. 